you are applying to study medicine, the answer is most probably yes. There are a number of inaccurate myths about the BMAT, including the following. The BMAT is an impossible exam. It takes a long time to prepare for the BMAT. BMAT is harder than UCAT. You should either do BMAT or UCAT. BMAT universities are much harder than UCAT universities. Our team of doctors have given their verdict on whether the average medicine applicant should attempt the BMAT exam. The UCAT is a high pressure exam. However, imagine if you had the opportunity to take the exam twice and choose your best score. Essentially, that's what the BMAT is, a second chance, although it's a very different type of exam. Score highly on the UCAT and we recommend that you apply to one BMAT university. Score less well on the UCAT or highly on the BMAT, and we'd say that you should consider two BMAT universities. Whilst the BMAT is by no means a straightforward exam, it is far more similar to your GCSEs, A-levels and other recent exams than the UCAT. With a small number of time-efficient techniques, you can tailor your existing knowledge to meet the challenges of the BMAT exam. There are loads of BMAT Pass papers, helping to make your preparation that much easier. To help you even more, there are BMAT Past Paper Work Solutions, which are free to those who attend a BMAT course. With the new earlier BMAT testing date, you can receive your BMAT scores before the UCAS deadline, which is currently the 15th of October. Score highly and prioritise BMAT universities. Score less well and choose weaker BMAT universities and UCAT universities. Basically, you have very little to lose by taking the BMAT exam. Gone are the days where the BMAT was exclusive to Oxbridge, Imperial and UCL. With a number of UK and international universities requiring the BMAT, this exam is advisable for all medicine applicants.